The first time anyone comes across anything usually to do with the Jehovah's Witnesses is when they come to their door and uh, produce these magazines, the Watchtower and the Awake magazines. Now, <coughs> for people who get a bit more interested in what the Jehovah's Witnesses are saying, there's the invitations on the back to come to your home and to conduct a free home Bible study. Now, what a lot of people might not realise is that when you contact Jehovah's Witnesses to request a free home Bible study, it's not so much a Bible study that you are getting. Rather, it's a book study about the Bible. Subtle, but big difference. Now, in these books that the Jehovah's Witnesses will, will hand to you and uh, teach you about the Bible, it's, it's their interpretation, their view on the Bible that is being taught, not the Bible alone. We, we really need to understand that. Now, is it possible to become a Jehovah's Witness just by reading the Bible alone? Or do you have to read their literature to lean you towards their beliefs to actually become a Jehovah's Witness and believe as they do? I believe you do, and I'm going to show you from literature that has been produced by the Watchtower that actually teaches us such. Um, <clears throat> have here some old Watchtower magazines. This one here is from December the 1st, 1990, Watchtower magazine. And it says here, page 19, it says, Let us face the fact that no matter how much Bible reading we have done, we would never have learned the truth on our own. Another one here says, <clears throat> uh, from the Watchtower, February the 15th, 1981, page 19. No question about it, we all need help to understand the Bible, and we cannot find the scriptural guidance we need outside the faithful and discreet slave organisation, which of course is the organisation of Jehovah's Witnesses. <clears throat> um, another example which is from this Watchtower magazine, June the 1st, 1985. And on page 20, we have this quotation. To turn away from Jehovah and his organisation, to spare the direction of the faithful and discreet slave, and to rely simply on personal Bible reading and interpretation, is to become like a solitary tree in a parched land. <clears throat> And there's this last quotation here from this magazine, which I feel is actually very, very revealing. Uh, it's from the Watchtower, August the 15th, 1981, and it's from pages 28 to 29, <clears throat> and it says this. They say that it is sufficient to read the Bible exclusively, either alone or in small groups at home. But strangely, through such Bible reading, they have reverted right back to the apost apostate doctrines that commentaries by Christendom's clergy were teaching hundreds of years ago. So we can see what is actually being said in that, in that quote there. It's basically saying that, look, if you read the Bible alone, as some were evidently doing from this quotation here, um, then they, they've reverted right back to the views of Christendom. So it's saying that if you read the Bible alone without the Watchtower literature, then you're going to become to believe as the rest of Christianity does. Now, I'll just leave you with this last thought. If you wanted to know what a book said, would you go to the book itself or would you go to a book about the book? You would go to the book, wouldn't you, itself? You'd go to the source. I would encourage you to go to God's Word alone and read it and study it. It is Word, it is living and active Word. Enjoy it and be enriched by it.